Hello everyone, welcome to Pancake Draws, I'm Pancake, and today we are looking at an illustration I did of Princess Zelda uh, from Zelda Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the game, the new game that everyone's really excited about that's coming out kind of soonish. Actually, yeah, it's like a month away now. That's crazy to think. Um, I won't be getting it when it comes out next month because I want to get it on the Switch, but I'm not getting a Switch till like next year because I'm a poor boy with no money and who also owes a lot of money. Commission me, please. Um, yeah, but this the, the game itself, from what I've seen in the trailers and from what I'm sure everyone else has seen, looks really cool. I'm super stoked for it. Uh, the This piece itself, you can see she is crying in it because she was in the trailer and I thought it was kind of cool how they were giving Zelda emotion instead of like the usual games where like all the Zelda characters kind of just have pretty pretty bland personalities. So they, they'll have like little gasps and they'll look sad but like you won't really feel like there's any emotion going on. I think the only other Zelda game that's like kind of portrayed the emotion really well was uh, Wind Waker of all ones actually because of its cartoony style. It really helped get that that feel. They could be a lot more dynamic with their expressions and I felt that overall that made it feel a lot nicer. But Breath of the Wild has voice acting and looks like actual character development which is cool for a storytelling perspective. I just hope that the exploration part of the game is the main focus because that's what I like in the Zelda games. That's why the original Zelda on the NES is still one of my favorites and I've always kind of preferred the 2D over the 3D ones except for Wind Waker. Wind Waker is still my all-time favorite one. But other than that, all my other favorite ones like the original Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Link Between Worlds, those are all my other favorite ones. I don't know, I never really got into the 3D ones too much. I played. I tried to play Skyward Sword, and I put it down after the first boss, and I haven't touched it since. So, so sorry, sister, for that Christmas present. I like the soundtrack it came with, at least. And in this this video, when I was drawing the picture, um, I was going through another inking slum, which is, I guess, it's not really a slum because what I've come to figure out is when I'm not happy with like how I'm inking or like how something's coming out it just means that I'm my brain is finally catching up with my art ability and telling me hey you should like improve this kind of thing so whenever I get into these slums it's not actually the worst it maybe lasts for like a half a day before I realize oh it's just me telling myself I need to improve and then I kind of go practice for a little bit which I did and I feel a little bit better um, after this inking's done recorded I did go in and like tweak everything, but I forgot to record it again because I'm an idiot. But that's kind of besides the point. We already knew that I'm, I'm a forgetful dumbhead. And I just forget to do that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, with Breath of the Wild, I'm really digging the art style they're going with. It's it's like I've I've told everyone it's kind of like if Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and Wind Waker had a little little bastard baby it's what that's why I described the art style as that seems really cool I love the map size that they're showing for the game tons of exploration I'm really hoping that there's a lot of it's like you can do what you want kind of just explore around fight things and it's not all like take you on a tour quest guide kind of thing because I always preferred the exploration part and finding secrets for yourself all that jazz is pretty cool. There's also a lot of really well designed characters in the game, not uh, Zelda included. I, I love her design in this game, probably one of my favorites next to maybe like Tetra, which I know is technically not. Uh, actually I do like the Zelda design of Wind Waker as well, I think the Toon Zelda is a really cute looking one, but I really like her design in this one too because she seems more like a genuine character and rather than just this regal figure that oh I'll, I'll do these quests for and the other characters look cool the Goron that we saw in the trailer looked cool and his voice sounded kind of cool as well all, all in all is really really pleasing to look at it warms the cockles of my eyes you can quote me on that if you want 
hurt me in the future. And now it is time for the questions of the video. This is the part of the video where I take your questions from the last video and then I answer them here. If you want your questions answered in the future, make sure you start off the comment with the word question, that way I can find it easier. And without further ado, let's get into it here. So the first question comes from user Adam Nick, who's been a longtime fan of the channel, thank you. And he asks, why did you begin YouTube? Probably most common question. Anyways, great work as always and great concepts so far towards the comic. Well, I thank you for that nice comment there. As for when I, why I chose to begin YouTube, I guess it's just because at the time I saw a lot of other artists were doing it. Um, and I thought it would be a fun thing to try. I was inspired a lot by uh, Stevre Bro, and who else would have been a good one? I think he was the main one who was doing speed art slash watch me draws at the time. So I kind of did that, and that's where I started from. Now I'm a little more inspired by uh, her name is I think Leslie Lou Marie and uh, Lavender Town because I like their idea of doing voiceover commentaries rather than just playing music on it. I think it's a little more personal and gives the channel a little more personality that way. But yeah, I, I began it just because I saw other people were doing it, thought it might be fun to do. It turns out it has been very fun to do for the last couple of years. I've been doing it. Thank you for that question. And next question is from an art buddy. Uh, his name is Seth Drains. Actually, he has two questions. His first question is what are some of your biggest artistic influences? Well, that's pretty easy. Um, my two, I'd say, uh, my top three probably would be because uh, I'm Dan Jones, uh, Tyson Hess, who is the creator of Boxer Hockey and uh, Tyson Hess's Diesel, Brianne Drewhard, who has done work for uh, like Adventure Time, that kind of thing. Uh, right now she has like her own comic called Harpy G, which is really cool. I like reading that one. Very fun adventures. And then probably the last person would be Scott Ramsumer, I think so is pronounced his name. He was probably the first one that got me into art uh, with his uh, web comic called BG Cats, which is like a comic about two cats in like video game worlds and just big spoofs and parodies and jokes about them. So that's where that comes from. And the second question is, do you ever think about what your character's voices would sound like? As an animator, this is something I didn't think about for years and it really caught me off guard when I had to find voice actors. Uh, yeah, I actually have. Um, the first voice for, or the voice for Kit was actually something me and my friend Sam decided on and we thought that Dodger from Press Heart to Continue would probably be what her voice actor would be like. I think she fits the personality and vibe of the character I'm going for pretty well. And then the second, actually the only other voice I've thought of was for um, was for Eric's there. And her voice was one of the Saints Row characters. I think it, her name was Kinsey. Yeah, that's it. Kinsey Kensington was the one who I thought would voice Eric's there because she's a little bit snarkier, um, a little more go get him kind of thing. I first got the inspiration for that after watching the like animated video Lucina says and I thought that voice was a perfect fit for her. As for the rest of the cast, I have not really thought of any voices yet because the characters aren't still fully developed yet. Snop would probably be like just some kind of roboticized voice that anyone could probably do, even I could probably do it. And the final question, which is a question that I hope I won't get asked a lot, and um, you can use this as an example, is from Twinkie Lord, and he asks, I just want to ask that I really want to know what drawing tablet you used. And okay, in every single one of my videos that I've uploaded, basically since I revived the pancake draws, time lapse, drawings, speed arts, music, commentary, drawing, thingamajiggies. I've always had an FAQ in the con in the description which says what tablet I use, what program I use to draw, uh, what microphone I use, and what I use for recording my videos. So if 
for those questions it kind of gets a little bit annoying because I, I get them quite a bit and the answers are always in the description. But if you're curious what tablet I'm using, it is a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD. I love that thing to death. I've had it for close to three years now. Still going strong. I'm gonna keep using it. And those are all the questions for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like or a comment. And if you never want to miss a video from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're at it. This is Pancake from Pancake Draws. Until next time, I'll see you later.